Virtual Laparoscopic Skills Training Guide for FLS, Fundamentals of Laparoscopic Surgery. The objectives of this video are to provide an example on how to teach laparoscopic skills virtually and remotely, specifically FLS. The video will demonstrate how to set up a portable laparoscopic box for mobile devices that will allow learners to set up the box in any location such as at home. The video will also describe the setup for FLS tasks in order to provide optimal and similar triangulation of the actual FLS box trainer and how to optimize the virtual platform for training. In this video, Zoom will be used as an example. To set up the portable laparoscopic trainer for mobile devices, here are the supplies that you will need. The minimum instruments that you will need are laparoscopic scissors, graspers, and needle driver. For the box itself, you will need the laparoscopic box, the black block, and the gray plastic board. For the tasks, you will need three clips, a larger one and two smaller ones, along with the gauze with the circle for the precision cut exercise, the red foam for the ligating loop exercise, the pegboard with six pegs for the peg transfer exercise, and the suture pad with the pen rows for the knot tying exercises. Now you are ready to set up your box. First, unfold the box. Two, place the plastic board inside the box. Three, use a center circle to make an opening to accommodate the phone camera. You can either tape the flaps down or cut the flaps. Four, place the black block vertically at the center back edge of the box. Fold the cover over the block. This allows the cover to sit at an angle and provide the optimal triangulation for the instruments. Alternatively, you can use a book or binder to hold up the cover. The height here should be approximately 12 inches. Five, create a phone rest by either using a rolled up piece of paper as shown here, or you may also use a pen or marker and tape it to the edge of this box. This will prevent the phone from sliding. Now you're ready to practice your laparoscopic skills. Here's how to set up your FLS tasks to provide the optimal and similar triangulation to the actual FLS box trainer. To simplify explanation, we have marked the board with numbers along the side from 1 through 17. For the peg transfer exercise, align the bottom edge of the peg board with the seventh hole from the left bottom corner of the board. This will be the same setup for the suturing pad. For the ligating loop exercise, align the bottom of the clip edge with the ninth hole. For the precision cut exercise, insert the large clip at the very top of the board with the smaller clips at the seventh hole on the left and the sixth hole on the right. Now we will review how to use the Zoom virtual platform for training remotely. Learners will need to log in the virtual platform with both their phones and laptop. This allows the learners to use the laptop as their viewing screen while the phone will be used as a viewing screen of the inside of the box for the proctor and other participants. The audio and video should only be turned on the phone device. Laptop audio and video should be turned off. The spotlight functions allows for observation of one learner at a time and can facilitate group peer observation, coaching, and feedback. The breakout room function allows for smaller group peer coaching or faculty proctoring. Proctors can switch between rooms or if multiple proctors are available, each proctor can be assigned to a room. Each room can be dedicated to a single task and therefore multiple tasks can be taught simultaneously in one session. The annotate function can be used to help with teaching and demonstration by sharing the screen with the learners. The gallery view allows for observation of multiple learners at one time. To hide the laptop feed without video, select hide non-video participants. Lastly, the record function can facilitate playback for feedback or for future educational reference. Telesimulation for laparoscopic skills training is feasible and cost-effective. The key elements for successful implementation include availability of a portable laparoscopic trainer, a mobile device, and use of a virtual platform.